thank you to Azikime for your generous support on Patreon. Oh, man. Oh, man. Here it comes. Here comes the biggin'. Here comes the biggin'. Oh, I need to turn up the fucking, uh, the background song, because fucking... I'm playing this right after Wolfstar, and Wolfstar fucking cranks that soldier boy, I'm telling you what. Hello everyone! My name is Decker Link, the trained and professional, and welcome back to extracurricular activities. On the last episode, we got our suit ready for Spencer, and, and today is the day for the wedding. Uh, so that everyone who's been messaging about me taking too long between episodes, hopefully this one didn't take too long. Hopefully. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Kevin, who emails me personally. Because, uh, 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 I'm going to drop the character for a second to address this. I am very bad at social energy. Uh, so when people message me regularly, uh, I cannot respond uh, regularly and it becomes overwhelming very quickly for me um, so to everyone not just the <laughs> shout out to Kevin uh, who emails me everyone who messages me um, about this or about other things I just want you to know that uh, it's not that I'm just mad at you or I'm ignoring you or anything like that not that anyone's been saying that but uh, I just want you to know that uh, the reason I haven't been responding is because I am just mentally exhausted all the time and uh, messages that occur very often are very quickly things that will uh, exhaust me from anyone and not even just like fans like family that I don't want to stall too long I'm not trying to stall but I felt it was important to mention but uh this is the big day y'all y'all this is the uh this is the day we're gonna go to the wedding, and uh, shit's gonna get fucked up. This is basically the climax of Spencer's route, because um, day 34 was described by Dine as just a day to enjoy Spencer, and then day 35, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen on that one, but uh, <laughs> that will be the actual finale of Spencer's route. So we only got three days left, so let's 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 go. You woke up to Spencer nuzzling the side of your head after having fallen asleep the night before with your face against his chest. Mm hmm. Ah, there you are. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? I don't think I budged an inch after I fell asleep. That is so different from me. I, I, I do more movement while I'm asleep than while I'm awake. You didn't. I woke up with you still in my arms like when I went to sleep. I slept great, and I feel ready to get the day started. Yeah, that's good to hear. You rolled onto your back and pulled Spencer with you, so he was lying on top of you now. The blanket formed a mound over his tail, but you could see it was wagging while you scratched his ears. We can spend just a few more minutes like this, right? I suppose I can spare a few more minutes, since I showered when I got home. I'll help you stretch your ankle before we go, too. Today's the day for ditching your crutches, finally. Yep, I can't tell you how happy I am about that. I can imagine, considering the fuss you put up with him. You pushed your fingers through his fur and continued scratching over his head and around his ears, and his tail never stopped moving. I don't want to leave the bed now. We have to, though. It's going to be a busy day. I'm actually looking forward to seeing your family. It's been a little while since I saw them last. I know they'll be all happy to they'll all be happy to see you too. My family loves you. That makes me feel good to hear. I wish I knew that feeling. Spencer <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Spencer lazily licked your cheek and nuzzled against you. Alright, time it's time to get up. I'll never leave this bed. He sat up, straddling your waist and letting the blanket fall back off of him. I think someone is already up. Oh, it's a penis! <laughs> Spencer went to bed naked, so when he sat up, his st okay, stiff pink cork wagged in the air. 
I woke up like this and your head scratches only made it worse. He fell back down on top of you, pinning you by your shoulders and grinding his mate against your stomach. You can always take care of it for me later. He kissed you deeply, and you willing and you willing let his longer t uh, okay <laughs> yeah. it's gotten into you this morning. Definitely not you. He sat back up, swiveled his hips around while sitting on your forming boner and rolled off the bed. Save us, Plum, or we're going to get demonetized. Yeah, dressed, and let's have some breakfast before we leave. He's certainly in a good mood. Let's hope that lasts for the wedding, too. All right, Plum, you did your business. Whoa, look at this highway. With the walls like that, it looks straight out of fucking Chicago. I feel like I know this fucking road. All right, Plum, you did your business. Now get back in the corner where you belong. <laughs> when was the last time you saw your family? Christmas, so it's not been not been too long. I think it was right before starting college when I saw them last. You're in for a treat then. Wait until you see how much the triplets have grown since then. Mom and Dad are pretty much the same, aside from Dad putting on some extra weight. And your older brother? I can't even remember the last time I saw him. It's been years. I saw him briefly at Christmas too. He was spending the day with his fiance's family, so we at least stopped by to drop off some gifts and talk a minute. You ready to see him again? I guess I'm as ready as I can be. He's your brother, so try to be friendly with him. I will be, but the moment of any of his better than you attitude comes out, I'll put him in his place. He reached over and scratched through the fluff of his neck and he leaned into your hand. You better behave. You aren't going to go on just to cause trouble. I know, I know. But I'm not going to let him walk all over me either. I wouldn't expect you to. I just don't want you lo look want you looking to cause trouble. Uh, just think about whatever you put you in such a good mood this morning. Being naked in bed with you was part of the reason. So I don't know if I should be thinking about that. What else contributed? How much I love you and how happy it makes me to wake up beside you every day. Aw, Spence. It's hard to express it with words sometimes, but it just comes out in other ways. This morning was just one of those times. I also had a really nice dream about you, but the details are so foggy now. I can't remember much beyond the feelings it gave me. And I would explain that. Oh! I can't say it, I'm sorry. Behavior. Told you part of that was from the scratchies. Of course. Spencer grabbed your hand and pulled it to his cheek. I love you so very much, Adam. I love you too, my silly puppy. I'll let that slide this time. <laughs> the wedding chapel wasn't far from your home, and it felt like you were there in no time. Oh, Lord, here we go. Why are you arriving in shorts? Like, I get that he was going to change into his shit when he got there, but what about us? What's our excuse for showing up like we just got off a fucking treadmill? Or a bender? What the fuck? This is the place. Wow, this is really nice. It's so peaceful out here. I don't think they could have chosen a better spot. Is this the kind of place you'd like to get married at someday? Yeah, definitely. I like how quiet it is, and the scenery is so nice. What about you? I think it's a perfect spot, too. I'll have to keep this place in mind. I really... I, I, I hope to fuck that Spencer proposes. I hope he proposes on this day. That would be so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Let's see who all is here already. Oh, the wedding hall. Oh, man. Ah, oh, there he is. Hey, Dad. Oh, look at Spencer's dad with his tongue out. Oh, man. Okay, so it's good to know... He's got a collar on. Is he a kinky bitch? Are you kinky? Kinky? Spencer! The bigger husky, I don't know what that fucking voice was, spread his arms out wide and greeted Spencer with a tight embrace and heavy pats to the back. Both dogs' tails wagged happily, ha wagged, wagged happily to and fro while they hugged. He followed up by running his hands over Spencer's head a few times and shaking his head around gently after ruffling his fur with a playful, playful, playful growl. 
and Spencer was released. It was your turn for a tight hug full of husky softness. It was a far cry for, away from hugging Spencer, but it still had a certain welcome familiarity to it. And Adam, it's so good to see you again. It's been so far too long. It's good to see you too, Mr. Calden. Please, you know you could just call me Dean. There's no need for such formality. You can even call me Dad if you want. You're practically family already. <laughs> okay, then. How have you boys been? Aside from rolling my ankle last weekend, not too bad. Oh, that's right. Your mother told me about that. You've gotten plenty of rest off of it, right? Yes, sir. This is gonna destroy my throat because I, I made a decision that all the fuck the only reason the only way that could explain why Spencer already has a gravelly th uh, voice is if all the men in his fucking family have a gravelly voice. So like, this is gonna be a fucking nightmare. Adam's been helping me out a lot, so it's mostly thanks to him I can walk as well as I can right now. I <laughs> left to myself. If left to myself, I'd probably be in a wheelchair. He's kept me on... He's kept on me about taking it easy. He's always trying to overwork himself. That's all Spencer for you. I'm always proud of how hard you strive to be the best you can. But you have to learn to slow down even there. It's taking some time, but I'm learning. Good. I hate that you got hurt during your big tournament like that. But on the last match, too. I bet you would have won. For sure, you should have seen how well how seen how he played. I'm sorry we couldn't make it out to watch. The triplets really wanted to see you play. Heck, all of us did. It's all right. I'll try to give you more notice for next time. The next one might even be the two of us playing in a doubles tournament. Yeah, we'll keep us updated then, and I promise we'll make it to make it to that one. I guess Mom and the boys aren't here yet. Goodness no. Your mom is still getting herself and the boys ready, so she'll be here in a little bit. There's no telling what kind of trouble they'll cause when they get here. You might end up lost out in the woods or something. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. I'll try to keep an eye on them. <laughs> is Dean Jr. here already, too? He is. He's just making sure everything is in order for the ceremony. What time is that at again? The ceremony's at noon, followed by pictures, then the reception. I expect we'll be here till sometime this evening. Fun. Where should we hang our clothes until it's time to change? Down the hall, first door on the right. Of course it is. It's always the first door on the right. Look, my clothes are hanging on a white cover there, so we're just put them with mine. Is there anything we can do to help while we wait? I don't think so. We're all just kind of here until time for the ceremony. Why did he want us here so early? I drove him here, so that's why I'm here. I think we have to do a rehearsal for the ceremony before it gets started, so that's probably why. Ah, uh, makes sense. Go hang your clothes up and I'll let DJ know you're here. Alright. Your dad's still as friendly as ever. Yep. It's too bad DJ didn't get that from him or mom. Well, you keep talking about him, I'm not really looking forward to seeing him again. I'll avoid him as much as possible, and we'll leave during the reception. After our dance. <laughs> of course. You followed Spencer to a small, simple room to hang your clothes, and then you return to the main hall with him. Now what? I guess all we can do is wait. There isn't much left else for us to do, and none of my other family seems to be here yet. We could always wander around outside. I wouldn't mind doing that a bit. I'd rather not risk getting sweaty and dirty right before the ceremony, though. So we should just hang around, hang around inside for now. Hell, you should be sitting down because your fucking ankle. Eh, good point. Well, your dad's on his way back over here, and he's with. Is that your brother? Oh man! Oh man! There he is. He's a thick boy, ain't he? Uh, Mr. Thickums over here. Hey there, bro. <laughs> Sorry. I was originally gonna go with like the the the, the like the Alex voice from um, Tennis Ace. It's basically like a sharper version of Spencer's voice. It's my stand-in for a solid snake impression. But um, 
I can't give that to a guy with a fucking goatee like that. <laughs> I just can't imagine Solid Snake saying, Bro, how's it going? Bro. I can't, it just doesn't work. DJ approached Spencer and grabbed him in a tight hug. Spencer's tail drooped, but his tails, his brothers, wagged furiously. And Adam, too! It's been years since I saw you last. You got a firm double paw handshake right after you release Spencer. I wasn't sure who Spence would bring for his plus one. I can't say as I'm surprised it's you, it was you. Really? What's that supposed to mean? He's your best friend, and the two of you are always doing stuff together. Since nobody has heard you having any ladies in your life yet. Just because I don't talk about my personal life doesn't mean there isn't anything going on there. Whoa, whoa. I don't need to get defensive over it, Spence. I'm just playing. Really glad to see you. We don't get much of a chance to talk or hang out anymore. Well, whose fault do you think that is? Jesus, Spence! Spence is here for blood. You know what? I think I have some other stuff I need to check on. Meet us in the main chapel at 10 for a quick rehearsal. Spencer, you should at least make an effort to get along with your brother today. It's a big day for him. He really is happy to see you. He mentioned a couple of different times that he was looking forward to seeing you. <sighs> Look, son, I don't know what caused such a schism. Schism? Okay. Between the two of you, but you boys need to clear the air and talk it out. You're gonna worry your mother, and you do not want her getting involved. She's been trying this new thing with the boys where she makes them share a timeout t-shirt together whenever they fight. Don't you think for a second that she wouldn't force you and DJ into it in one and sit you in the backseat of the car until you sorted out your problems? <laughs> Spencer glared at you and then sighed. I intended to behave, but his comments just rubbed me the wrong way. But bring it at him? Yeah. Why is that? It just sounded demeaning is all. That's it? Are you sure you're not overreacting a little? He's your brother! Maybe a little. Why don't you two get some, go get some fresh air? It's nice outside, so it might do you some good. Be back here in half an hour to get changed. You're about to do that before we saw you two. Then get going. I'll go talk to DJ. All right. But before you go... Dean spread his arms out again, and with his head down and his tail wagging, Spencer walked into his father's arms. I love all my boys, Spencer, and I want you all to get along, so please try for me, okay? Okay, Dad. Good boy. He gave Spencer's head a good scratch and let him go. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Keep an eye on him, alright, Adam? Yes, sir. <sighs> Outside we go. Yeah. Stupid DJ. It's almost like he it's almost like he already knows about us. Yeah, it sounded that way, but there's no way he would. Nobody in my family knows. Do you think I overreacted? Yeah, I think you did a little bit. I'm glad that we didn't have to do a choice on that one. Oh boy. I didn't really get the impression of him being as much of a jerk as... I didn't really get the impression of him being as much of a jerk as you've built him up to be. He did seem genuinely happy to see you. His tail was going 90 miles an hour there. Of course it would. He has to put it on a show for you and Dad. Is that really how you look at it? Why else would he act so happy to see me? Maybe because he's your brother and he's actually happy to see you? Unlikely! He stomped off to the- Stop stomping, you idiot! You got a sprained ankle! He stomped off to around the back of the building toward the trees, and you followed to find him sitting on a bench facing away from the building. He sat down and leaned against him. Have you considered the possibility that your brother has changed over the years and isn't like how you remember him? To be honest, I don't really have any negative memories of him, what few I do have. Dots. You know, this isn't the first time you had the wrong idea about someone's behavior. What do you mean? Darius. Well, that's different. But you still overreacted to him with what happened in the past, so... Maybe you are with your brother, too? You should really try talking to him about how you feel, Spence. 
Imagine the relief of getting it off your chest. I don't know about that. And maybe you'll get a new impression of him. Who knows? Maybe you're right. I should just confront the issue head on and get it over with. I'm just going to brood over it otherwise. I don't need a broody dog on my hands all day. I'm supposed to enjoy the time with your family. He leaned his head over on your shoulder and you put your arm around him. How do I even start a conversation about it? Just tell him why you're mad at him and go from there. This is something the two of you are going to have to work out on your own. Yeah. Maybe I'll finally find out why he's always been so distant with me. I'm sure you'll figure something out, Spencer. I hope you find some peace of mind. And moved to the scruff of his neck, and you scratched through the fur while his tail wagged lazily. Yeah, I can't imagine why anyone would think you're fucking... I'm really glad you came here with me. It'll make things easier knowing I have you here. I have to make sure you don't do anything brash. Maybe I should have brought your collar to help keep you in check. I don't think I'm ready for anyone else to know about that, let alone my family. But your dad is wearing one in public. Collars are more than a sexual thing, you know. Maybe he and your mom are just really kinky. Please don't! <laughs> you stand on the bench, talking in gentle sound, taking in the gentle sounds of nature sprawling out before you. You were sitting near the edge of the tree line, and all you could hear was the wind whispering through the leaves. It was quiet until several high-pitched barks tore through the air. I bet that's the triplets. Oh god, I recognize those voices! You and Spencer turned to see three small huskies running toward you as fast as they could. Oh god, oh yeah, this, this would definitely be the mom. Stop running! Because if you fall and get your grass stains on your pants, you will all be grounded! <laughs> Just as unpleasant a noise as possible. Spencer moved from the bench to the to the ground on his knees with his arms op his arm with open arms as the three younger dogs crashed into him, nearly knocking him to the ground as he laughed and tried to keep himself steady. He's surrounded by a mess of arms and wagon tails as each one tried giving him a hug, and he worked to give each of them a hug in return with a kiss on the top of the head. He resulted in shoving and tugging as each of them fought for Spencer's attention. Nothing could be understood between all of them talking at once. <laughs> Calm down, guys. Y'all get your turn. I was gonna get you all by the tail if you mess up your nice clothes for DJ's wedding. Oh, hey, look at Spencer's mom. She looks like a mom. Oh, she definitely looks like a mom that would have a Time Out shirt. Holy fuck. Hello, Sammy Kip. Get off your brother. Remember that I told you he will hurt that he hurt his ankle. <laughs> I'm fine, mom. Well, I don't need them fighting either. Before you know it, they'll be covered in dirt and we won't get any nice pictures. Okay, okay. One more hug from each of you, then you all have to behave. We can play, we can play more after pictures, okay? After some extra struggling to decide who got hugs first, Spencer was free to stand up and finally gave his mother a hug and quick kiss on the cheek. Triplets fell in line after some scolding, and they seemed to mostly calm down. Oh, look at them! Oh, one of them's got a fucking bandage on his shoulder. Another one's got snot coming out of his nose. That's gross. Fucking Huey, Dewey, and Louie over here. Uh, the one on the far right seems to be the most behaved, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Kids at formal events. Nightmare. Especially when one of them was me. Oh, my God. I, I have ruined my fair share of church events. Hi, Mom. I guess you had your hands full today. As usual, they're these three. Is that Adam I see here, too? Yes, ma'am. It's been a little while, hasn't it? It has been, but it's so nice to see you again. It's good to see you all, too. Boys, you all remember Adam, right? Hi, guys. You all grown up a lot since I saw you last. I remember him. I do, too. You haven't come over in a long time. Yeah, you haven't played with us in a long time. Did you forget about us? It's been so long. No, no, of course not. I've just been really busy with school and tennis. Don't forget, he does a lot of the same things that Spencer does. And you know how busy he is. But this should be a reminder for the two of you that you should stop by and see us more often. 
Yeah, I know. I'll really try to make some more time for it. I think I've finally got him to understand he needs to take some extra time off for himself. I'm working on it. Good. I don't know how many times I've had to tell it. I've, I've told him that he needs to slow down. So I'm glad to hear he's finally listening to someone. Spencer works really hard, doesn't he? He sure does. I'm gonna work really hard too. I work the hardest, not as much as me. <laughs> I'm trying to make them different, but I don't remember which is which at this point. Shoving ensued, and did, and as did more scolding as the boys quieted down once again. Well, if anything, these three really look up to their big brother and how hard he works. Just remember to make more time for them and your parents too, okay? I promise I will, Mom. I'll be sure to come play with you all more, okay? In unison, they all barked their approval and Spencer's tail never stopped wagging. All right, boys, let's go find your dad and your older brother. It should be about time for the two of you to get dressed, too. Yeah, we can all go back inside now. We're supposed to meet DJ in the chapel for a rehearsal soon, so you can all just follow me. With Spencer and, the, and his brothers heading toward the house, his mother had the chance to step up and hug ya. I'm so... I'm glad you came with him, Adam. You'll have to stop by with him make, if he makes the time to. Don't you worry, I'll make sure he does. Thank you. I'd like to see all you... Uh, I'd like to see you all more often, too. I've missed everyone. I'm sure all the boys would like that, too. I won't lie and say I wouldn't like that also. I could use a break here and there from them all. <laughs> they seem like a rowdy lot. They are, but they're all good boys. Spencer has makes such a good role model. I'm sure Spence would like hearing that too. You can let him know I said that then. They really do look up to him. They all study hard and want to play sports just like him. Aw, that sounds like he's such a good influence. He certainly is. We can talk a little more later. We need to get ready. Go get ready for the rehearsal. I'd like that. When you return to the reception hall, Dean and DJ were already there, and the triplets swarmed DJ as they had done with Spencer. Whoa! Look at you guys! I swear you've all grown since at, la at least a f oh another foot since I saw you last. You're not causing mom and dad too much trouble, right? It was a variety of answers which led to DJ laughing and ruffling head for. Are y'all doing well in school? All the <coughs> oh, fuck. All of them are part of the auto roll right now. All of you? Yep, just like the big brothers. That's great, I'm so proud of all of you. You all better keep up the hard work, you got that? If you guys do, you all get a reward from me at the end of the year. Yurt Spencer snort. He looked like he was holding back from saying something. Think you can do that? <laughs> Gleeful agreements were made, and the children dashed off to explore the area. Oh, there he is. I guess all of you should get dressed. I'll make sure those three don't cause too much trouble. Thanks, Mom. We'll talk in a, little, a little more in a bit. He kissed her on the cheek, and with a pat to his chest, she turned and left. Oh. Ah! Orion Calden, don't you dare! <laughs> Let's go before it's too late. Ah, <laughs> oh, the back room is not found. Man, those three are growing like weeds. It feels like it was only a month ago and they were just tiny pups. Are you and the soon-to-be wife planning on starting a family? <laughs> Are you fucking son? Did you get your hand off? I want to know if you really gave her a pounding, you know what I'm saying? We talked about it. I don't know if we're ready just yet. I don't know if I don't think anyone's ever ready for it. Me and your mom certainly weren't ready when we had you. <laughs> Spencer was easier since we had practice, but the triplets threw everything we already knew out the window. <laughs> I can only imagine. At least you guys had Spencer there to help out. I don't know what we would have done without him. He really, uh, he really stepped up as a big brother when they were pups. Sometimes I regret moving out when I did. I would have liked to have done more with them too. I guess I had you though, Spence. You really set a good example for them, I'm sure. 
would know anything about that, would you? What's that supposed to mean? Just that you wouldn't know what setting a good example means. Are you saying I don't didn't set a good example for you? Well, did you? Did you not... Well, did you... Did you not ever look up to me? Spencer, just tell him. You know what his deal is, Adam? Holy crap! D Dad, what the fuck? This is not... This is, what the... Oh god, now I'm getting a... Optimize my PC notices. Leave him out of this, TJ. No, <laughs> TJ, Jesus. Leave him out of this, TJ. If you're not gonna give me an answer, then maybe at least he will. Like, really, what's your problem? Out of what little time we've had together today, you've been hostile towards me. And come to think of it, the most recent times we've been together, you've hardly spoken to me or even acknowledged I was around. Even at Christmas, that little time I did have with the family, you seem to avoid any kind of contact with me. The hell did I do that's caused you to be so ill with me? Now's not the time for this. Oh no, now's the perfect time for this. Spencer moved towards the door, but Dean stepped in front of it. Uh, Dean? Oh, yeah, that'd be Dean. Dad, move. Remember what I said about your mother in the timeout shirt? She wouldn't be able to. Your mother has been raising these three rambunctious pups, so are you really willing to try? I'll stand out in the hallway and block the door from that side until you talk. In your underwear? Do you honestly think I wouldn't? Uh, fine. You want to know what my problem is? Oh, the fucking music stopped too. Oh, hell. And he's got a whole new position just for being pissed. This is... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is going to be a shit show. Yes. I always looked up to you, DJ. You were smart, athletic, and everyone liked you. I wanted to be like you, so I always did my best at everything. I got good grades. I played as many sports as I could, and, it was, and I was a friend to everyone. I even took it a step further and was involved in tons of clubs and other things. To me, I was just like you, and that's what I wanted. Spencer. But I surpassed you. My grades were better. I did better in sports. I was getting praised for everything that I did, and it made me feel like I was on top of the world. But you seemed bitter that I got so much attention for doing everything you had already done. No matter how hard I worked or how much I tried, you never once acknowledged it with anything other than annoyance. I started to resent you for it, and I worked even harder. I vowed I'd give you a reason to acknowledge my achievements, but you never did. I started to wonder if I really had earned all the praise I got or if it was all really worth anything. I... I had no idea, Spencer. All I ever wanted from you. Well, from my big. All I ever wanted from my big brother. Was just once. To hear him tell me that he was proud of me. Oh, Spence. DJ grabbed Spencer in a tight hug and nuzzled against his brother's head. What, does this address the homophobia? I mean, this is probably an underlying thing, definitely. This is definitely an underlying thing, but like. Uh, there's a, there's an elephant in the room here. A big, big homophobic elephant. I am proud of you. I always have been. And always will be. I was too jealous to tell you when we were younger. But now that I'm older and see how well you've done for yourself, how can I not be proud of my little brother? We hardly ever talk anymore, so I've never had a chance to properly express that to you. Everything I ever hear from mom and dad about you is nothing short of amazing. And I couldn't be more proud of what kind of man you've become. It... It means so much to hear you say that. I'm so sorry, Spencer. I never intended to hurt you like that. Can you ever forgive me? If you can forgive me for being a bit of an ass about it. Of course. You know, you both, uh, you're both to blame for just not talking to each other sooner. <laughs> I guess I could have made more of an effort, huh? Me too. But I just clung to that resentment. I never considered that you might have changed. Uh-oh. 
something why'd the music stop you saw tensor tensor's spale apparently despite being droopy was wagging and he returned as the embrace tightly they held each other for a minute then dj pulled back to look at spencer really now you've held to this kind of resentment towards me for how long a long time it's part of what shaped who i am today is that a good thing mostly mostly he tends to have a habit of pushing himself to his limits and leaving no time to relax a bit of a workaholic huh oh yeah i'm getting better about it uh, because i keep getting on to you for it yeah yeah you certainly need to relax here and there or you'll burn yourself out hard oh god <laughs> Well, he's got the tux underwear. I mean, it's fitting. It is his wedding, after all, but good God. Boy, what in the world are you wearing? <laughs> These are my pre-honeymoon tuxedo undies. I got them just for tonight. Are they meant to repel your soon-to-be wife? Valerie's gonna love them. I don't know about that. Um, oh, come on, guys. They aren't that bad. Look, the little tie comes off and the buttons come undone, too. He made a show of taking the tie off and even snapping the buttons open and closed without showing off the cuts. Besides, it's what's on the inside that really counts. Even if she hates these when she gets them off. If she ever stops laughing long enough to take them off. <laughs> I'm with Dad on this one. Ugh, you guys suck. What are you, Adam? Uh... <laughs> well, we got an opportunity here. Uh, we can either uh, side with them and whatever, but the fact that we're saying cute, that's that, that might go in a weird direction. But they're silly, just sort of sides with everyone and it's not really interesting. I think the more interesting one would be to say that, that they're cute. Let's see what happens when we say they're cute. I don't know. I think they're kind of cute. Thank you. At least someone agrees with me. Okay, can we stop talking about DJ's tacky underwear now? Yeah, let's leave my underwear alone and go back to how Spencer's a workaholic. Like, what do you even do for work, Spence? Currently, I work as a server at a bar. I make pretty good money on just tips alone, so it's good enough for now. A server at a bar, huh? What kind of bar? Just a bar? What's the name? I'm not telling you so you can come bother me while I'm at work. He wouldn't tell me and your mother either. <laughs> we want to go see him at some point, but we don't even know where it is. <laughs> Maybe he's embarrassed about it. What? Why would I be embarrassed about a good job? I don't know. Why would you be? Well, whatever it is, you sh really should take a little extra time off when you can. The triplets sure would like to see you more often, so if anything, do it for them. They'd really like to see you both more. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to start making time to see them at least once a month. I'll be making more time to see them. I'll be making more time to see them too. I miss them. We could even do something together, you know, just the five of us as brothers. Huh, that could be fun. Are we really not addressing the homophobia? Like, I remember that being one of the bigger issues. Maybe it'll come up later. Don't want to give the, don't want to put the cart before the horse here. Don't want the drama of our fucking reveal, our dance, whatever, to be undermined by a previous conversation. Your mom would be so happy to hear that. We could use a little time to ourselves every now and then. It's hard with these three. We'll help out then. I'm sure me and Adam could do more with them too, right? Definitely. We could start teaching them how to play tennis. You could put all the energy they have to good use. But good luck getting them not to, not to chase the balls the whole time. Those boys will chase balls around the yard for hours at a time. I wish I still had that much energy. As you can tell, I've kind of let myself go. I've had a hard time finding time to m make it to the gym lately. You're not the only one! Dean laughed and slapped his stow match. Then we got those two over there. 
Spencer, you look like you go to the gym every day. I have to stay in shape. I am aiming to be a professional tennis player after all. Really? Yeah, I love playing, and not to boast or anything, but I am pretty good. I can barely touch him when we play. He's a beast on the courts. Damn, I'll have to come watch one of the, you play one of these days. That's awesome to hear. Maybe we could get everyone out onto the courts, not just the triplets. Maybe we should get them out. I don't know about that. I've never even held a tennis racket. All the more reason for you to come out and play with us. Maybe I will one day. I've had to do something to... I have to do something to get back in shape. You could start going to the gym with us, too. That seems more likely than playing tennis. I'll hold you do that, then. You just let me know what times work for you, and I'll try to plan for it. Sounds good to me. I could go for something like that. Knock, knock. Are you men almost ready? Everyone's waiting for you. Oh, man, we've been just standing here talking. We, we need to get dressed and go rehearse. We'll have the rest of the day to talk more, so I hope you're prepared for at least get all the catching up we have to do, Spencer. <laughs> Looking forward to it, DJ. Aw, well, that's nice. I'll go ahead and uh, make this a whole separate episode, as I imagine there's going to be a lot here. If not, I'll just fucking do it in edit. I'm going to record the right afterwards, but I feel weird ending episodes without an outro, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Extracurricular Activities. Uh, if you want to play this game for yourself, links in the description are down below, along with various ways to support me, such as follow me on Twitter and other places, or by uh, Patreon or Coffee, things like that. Uh, if you want to be notified when future episodes of this come out, the subscribe and bell buttons are what you need to work with. And if you don't want to wait for that, there are other things I have linked in the cards up above that have popped up throughout this video that you may also enjoy. That being said, everyone, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Yeah.